Hey everyone, um, I'm down at our community center down on Moku in Leilani. I'm down here doing an air quality check because we're having a meeting today at 2 p.m. to discuss the uh, curfew hours that's been imposed on us. Um, we're looking to get those extended a few hours because we have people that, you know, have to go to work and, you know, they don't get off in time to get back in through or to get back in uh, after cutoff. So some of them can't go to work, some of them have to take off early, and this is really impacting people financially. You know, we understand the reason why they've got the curfew, um, but uh, the hours, I think, should be extended to at least 9 p.m. Um, that's what we're going to gather to discuss today. Anyways, I want to show you all this. Uh, all that black smoke is coming from a structure, a house or, or something that is burning. That's not the normal color smoke that comes from the volcano during uh, the eruption activity. So when we see the black smoke, we, we know something is on fire that we don't want to be on fire, obviously. But, you know, it is what it is, and it's unfortunate for these people. Um, there's a, a lot of activity back this way, because this is back towards the Fisher Line, uh, not very far from Luana and, uh, and uh, Leilani, and just a couple streets up. Um, so we obviously have flows over there, or these structures, or whatever they are over there, would not be burning. However, we do also have some people here at our cell tower, this is our Verizon tower, it's been active this entire time, which has been good. Um, so I have no idea what these people are up to. Uh, I do believe that it may be a Verizon rep and, and local law enforcement. They may just be checking the uh, integrity of the tower. Um, at least I hope that's all they're doing. If they're going to turn it off, it's going to cause a lot of problems for cell phone communication. But while I'm here, let me go ahead and just show you, you know, a, a quick little pan around, you know, of our community center. Um, this is all funded by the Homeowners Association, uh, and so therefore it's owned by all the residents. And so we have a park, and we have a, a meeting center, and uh, that, that's my Jeep. And uh, here's our little outdoor pavilion. Uh, some basketball courts is also where we do out, outdoor events. And then of course we got the little park area here for, you know, playing, running. Uh, actually, I think we even got a, a, a baseball diamond over here. I didn't even realize that was there. So, anyways, just a quick update. Uh, won't, I don't know how many videos I'll be posting today because, like I said, we got. I'm doing this meeting, so it's you know community over YouTube. Unfortunately, I hate I hate to do that, but uh, it's called priorities list. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, enjoying all the, the wonderful comments that everyone's posted. Uh, I, I, you know, big mahalo to all of y'all. Uh, I really appreciate the support and uh, you know and and. You know the intrigue that y'all are um, uh, bringing to all this. Uh, I hope it's been educational, and and you know it's, it's definitely been a wild trip, that's for sure. So, hey, right, I'm gonna cut this short. I need to make an update to the neighborhood, and uh, uh, so until next time.